Let's talk about specific gravity. What exactly is specific gravity and how do you calculate it? Specific gravity is a ratio. It doesn't have any units. And this ratio is equal to the density of the object divided by the density of water. So for instance, let's say if we want to calculate the specific gravity of aluminum. The density of aluminum, if you look it up, it's 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. In physics, typically you'll see density in terms of kilograms per cubic meter. But in chemistry, density is usually described as grams per centimeter cube. If you want to do the conversion, to convert from grams per centimeter cube to kilograms per cubic meter, you could simply multiply by 1,000. So in chemistry, the density of aluminum would be reported as 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So when you divide these two, notice that the units kilograms per cubic meter is going to cancel. So this will give us a specific gravity of 2.7. Let's say, for instance, we want to calculate the specific gravity of ice. All we need to know is the density of ice and the density of water, and we could do that. The density of ice is 917 kilograms per cubic meter. The density of water is 1,000. So when you divide these two, you get 0.917. Now, when a specific gravity of a substance relative to water is less than one, that object is going to float in water. Now, when a specific gravity is greater than one, that object will typically sink in water. So let's draw a picture. So let's say we have a beaker. and there's water. So if we have a ball of aluminum, it's gonna be right here in the bottom. If we have an ice cube, it'll be like this. Notice the specific gravity of ice, it's 0.917. So if you were to place an ice cube in water, about 91.7% of the ice cube is gonna be submerged below the surface of the water the other 8.3 percent that's going to be above water and so when you calculate the specific gravity it can give you details like this so that's basically it for this video so now you understand the concept of specific gravity so remember it's a ratio and this ratio doesn't have any units so it's a unitless ratio that describes the density of object let me say that again. It's a unitless ratio that describes the density of an object relative to the density of water. So that's what it is. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on maybe not specific gravity, but like other physics related topics like density, pressure, fluids, things like that, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be posting some extra content there. So for those of you who want more example problems, feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.